Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today we are learning evolution chapters, adaptive radiation part. I hope in the previous video you looked at theories of evolution. Under that we looked at uh, Darwin's theory of evolution which con contained two key concepts. One is natural selection, another is branching descent otherwise called as adaptive radiation. So what exactly is this adaptive radiation? This concept is very important for your examination point of view. One question is definition of adaptive radiation and, and to explain using finches. Another question is what is the adaptive radiation that is seen in Australian marsupials? Another one is uh, which uh, place have you seen two adaptive radiations happening? So all that we will be covering. Please stay tuned and be attentive and please make notes okay so what exactly is adaptive radiation adaptive radiation basically means from one species many species evolving in a single isolated area depending on either food habits or the habitat that is present over there we're not done once they evolve they all radiate or go into different habitats of the island itself okay so what happened with respect to this finches we will see first and foremost what are finches they are small black birds and they are found in a group of isolated islands called as galapagos islands okay and charles darwin observed them first so we call them as darwin's finches also now the first species that reach the island or we call them as the founder species are seed eating normal blackbirds <clears throat> from these organisms or the, these species evolved around 22 varieties of species from them okay and in what way did they evolve they all had altered beaks meaning different shapes of beaks to suit what food is available if nectar is available you can see the elongated beak if they eat nectar also and insect also they should have a sharp beak and so on so depending on what food was available they all evolved now after evolving they started flying out to the different habitats of the same island okay now please read the definition again it it is a type of evolution process of evolution of different species all these species in a isolated or given geographical area starting from a point literally radiating to other geography after evolution they all radiated to different geographical areas that is called as adaptive radiation please ex explain it using darwin's finches if no other specific things are asked second example and the third example are about mammals you know there are different types of mammals one are marsupials which have pouch like so like our kangaroo other are normal mam uh, the placental mammals okay so both mammals evolved in um, australia so if you get a question give an example of a geographical area uh, where two adaptive radiations happen and and explain both all right so in that case you have to write about australian marsupials and Placental mammals. We'll learn both right now. Okay, right here. Um, first one, Australian marsupials. So marsupials are the um, organisms which have a pouch. All right. What is the function of the pouch? To carry their young one. All right. So you have to look at what kind of evolution it is. All right. So what happened first of all? From a single ancestral stock or ancestral species, many different organisms evolved. All of them are so different from each other. For example, kangaroo is there, koala is there, wolf is there, cat is there. You can see that. From a ancestral stock, all these evolved. Read this. A number of marsupials, each so different from each other, evolved from an ancestral stock all within the continent so there was no mixing up of genes nothing they all evolved depending on the need of food or habitat or whatever all right so that is called as adaptive radiation with respect to australian marsupials okay now 
now this kind of um, evolution is called as convergent why is it called convergent you remember the definition of convergent uh, evolution the type of evolution where <coughs> the function would converge or function would be same but structurally um, anatomically they would be different or if you take uh, take a cross section of it the bone or whatever they're all different from each other however fun for the same function some structure would develop pouch is the function a pouch is the organ or uh, part which has evolved and the function of it is to take care of the young one okay so the function converged please remember this they'll ask you what kind of evolution happened here and that is convergent all these are one or two marks please don't skip all this children second type of evolution also happened in the australian um, continent and what is that that is with respect to the placental mammals the previous one was with respect to marsupial mammals right here placental mammals what is special about placental mammals here is if you notice for every marsupial for there is a similar looking placental mammal all right for every marsupial that is there marsupial mouse similar looking placental mammal is also found in the continent okay now read the definition placental mammals in australia also exhibit adaptive radiation in evolving into varieties of such mammals each of them will look similar to corresponding marsupial and you need to learn the example of all these please because uh, what is a corresponding uh, placental mammal for uh, this cuscus they can ask then you should write lemure okay so this table you need to learn that's all this uh, should fetch you two to three marks pakka because either definition like i said or example of finches or um, the marsupials or placental mammals definitely they'll ask you and it is so simple you should not be skipping 10 minutes it would take if you take some effort all right i'll see you in the next video uh, hopefully we can start with the molecular basis chapter i'll see you in the next video if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and uh, please forward to your friends as well all the videos thank you